Today let us implement Facebook's audience networks banner and interstitial ads into our Ionic 2 project. I have already created a project called Technotip with blank template. Remember this is an Ionic 2 project. So I have used this command Ionic start space project name space template name that is blank double hyphen v2 which means it's an Ionic 2 project. So this is our project with some so Ionic 2 files. Let me get inside the project folder and also open it up using Visual Studio Code. Let me show you how it looks on the Chrome browser. So this is our blank Ionic 2 template. Let me get out of Ionic CLI and show you the plugins we have for our project. So the step one for this project install Ionics that is Facebook plugin that is Cordova plugin Facebook ads. This is the first step. It also installs dependency plugins. So this is the plugin we just installed. Now step two, add the platform. Ionic platform space add space the platform name Android or iOS. If you want to add iOS platform, you must be on a Mac. I have already done that. So I'll skip doing that once again. So the step three is the actual coding. So I'll declare, first I'll show you how to implement the banner ads. So declare a variable called Facebook ads of type any. Now we want to invoke it, that is display banner or ads immediately so let's put the code inside the constructor whenever you are placing your code inside constructor make sure to wrap it around by platform ready method so now check if it if facebook ads variable isn't undefined so facebook ads dot create banner first option first parameter is configuration options then it returns some if it's successful it returns some callback method the third parameter is returned if it's an error let me take a variable called options where i'll input my add id make sure the id is for banner add i got these values from my audience network dashboard so what else i can do add size maybe by default it's if you don't mention it by default it will take value as smart banner i'll simply write it if you want to know other options please visit the link present on your screen right now then is testing this is important i'll keep it false let's see some real ads for the first time we could even write about position. I'll show it to you. Then auto show. We could make it true or false. If it is true, you need not invoke another method called show banner. If it's false, that is auto show is false, then you need to invoke Facebook ads dot show banner method it also takes one parameter which is number which represents position of your ad eight means bottom center so if auto show is true you need not invoke this show banner method you you can directly give value to position here itself by default it is eight that is bottom center so let's check it out in the 
on the real device. Remember, no, do not forget to add the platform that is Ionic platform add Android. After that, let me install it to my real device, Ionic run Android. Optionally, you can pass in hyphen L and hyphen C to get live reload and some log information. If you pass in minus L and minus C, make sure to connect your device to the same network your console is being connected to. So this is the ad, the real ad. Let me show you the test ads by making is testing to true. So it's live reloading, live building. So this is our test ad. Now let me make this auto show to false and remove this position option here and save it the ads must must not show up because we are not calling show banner method let's wait let's wait and see for some seconds at least no the ads are not appearing let's get back and invoke this show banner method okay now a test add banner should be displayed at the bottom center of this ionic 2 application once the live reload is completed uh, yeah it's working now that's it for banner ads let me quickly show you interstitial ads so let me create place a button here on the home page once the user clicks on the button, we will show the interstitial ads. Now I'll define load add method. So Facebook ads dot prepare interstitial method. Well, let Let's wrap it around. Let's check if the variable Facebook ads actually has any value. That is, it's not undefined. And let me take a local variable here called options and pass in my interstitial ad units ID, which I have copied here from my audience networks dashboard now let me pass in the options as first parameter the second parameter is the success callback and the third parameter is error callback so once successful let's invoke show interstitial method that's it the interstitial ads should start showing once user clicks on show ads button. Let me click it. Within few seconds, the ad gets prepared and gets shown up on the screen. So this is the test ad. Let me show some real ads too. Remember Facebook ads is a global variable. So the configuration even reflects across the application. So you can see real banner ad here. Let me click show ads button. And yeah, a real ad shows up. Let me close this and click once again the show ads button. Within maybe five seconds, another real ad shows up. Yeah, that's it. So this is how we implement Facebook's audience networks banner as well as interstitial ads in my next video tutorial I'll show Facebook audience networks native ads implementation in ionic 2 projects please share this video that is please share the link for this video tutorial with your friends on Facebook LinkedIn Google Plus stumble upon reddit etc and please subscribe to our blog technotip.com and to our YouTube channel and do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.